College Football 25 just dropped the biggest patch of the year. First patch of the year, I believe. Maybe it's actually a second patch. Title update, August 8th, 2024. I want to go through these patch notes, kind of give my thoughts on it, and uh, just talk through what's going to be changing. Also, if you guys are on our school site, our school community, that's our ebook site where we have pro tips, ebooks, lab sessions, everything for just $10 for all uh, college football and Madden 25. If you guys want to get access to that, that's linked in the description. We actually just dropped a massive video over there kind of explaining what's the difference to blitzing now post patch that I think is going to be really significant for the meta going forward. So if you're not a school member yet, make sure that you're signed up for that. The cool part is as these patches change the game every single year, we're going to be making sure that that school site is always up to date with the best ebooks available so that you can have the most success possible. Okay, so let's get into this. Campus Huddle gameplay included new eight shotgun formations to a total of 35 teams. Bunch quads open, actually a really cool formation. Slot F wing, split pro far, split pro near, tight wire flex. I'm really gonna I'm gonna check that one out out of Florida. So I got some some new playbooks or new things. That's really good. It's a really good change. The reason why this is something very little. Um, in my opinion, in terms of like meta changing or anything, but it really increases the creativity and replayability of the game. Tuning in logic enhancements to pursuit angles. So probably the biggest issue with the game, in my opinion, was the pursuit angles tackling in general. The run game was so overpowered. It was actually more, I think it was more overpowered in, in college football 25 than in Madden 20. Okay. It was so, so effective. So hopefully they did that. They also reduced a frequency of broken tackles from trailing defenders. Literally, if you were a trailing defender, it felt like you would literally break every tackle. So I'm, I'm super stoked for that. Broken play bugs. Fixed issue where certain formations had offense players aligned too wide when on the near or far hash. I actually noticed that a lot. Fixed an issue where single back formations would be assigned the wrong name when creating a custom playbook. A lot of playbook fixes. A lot of bug fixes. Fix an issue where spiking the ball in online modes was not working properly. Yes. Very good. Adjusted AI quarterback behavior on shot plays to make more lob throws versus bullet passes. Um, not too worried about that. Adjusted AI offensive. Oh, here we go. Okay, not a big deal. Make sure you press the icon of which receiver you want to throw the ball to before the running back. Okay, adjusted the DB's ability to more effectively shed blocks on the perimeter. I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. Um, that was also a thing with RPOs and even just screen plays in general, just everything. If you could attack the edges, it was so, so good. Increase the speed penalty for running out of stamina during play. Okay. Uh, QB scrambles behind the line. I think, that's, I think these is like a two-way approach to try to fix quarterback rollouts. Quarterback scrambles behind the line of scrimmage will lose stamina at a faster rate, and then there will be an increase of the penalty speed for running out of stamina when a play is going on. So another big one is fi fixed an exploit where players would leave a quarterback contained player unblocked and then run around them. We will make further improvements to quarterback contain in a future title update. Really, really big issue. This was one of my biggest issues with Madden. It's been one of my biggest issues with Madden forever. They have to fix contains. Fix contains. If they fix contains, it makes the game a lot more fun, and it reduces. This is what it reduces. It reduces stupid stuff. Like, it reduces the stupid stuff that is, like, broken, fundamentally broken, and it's just bad football at the end of the day. So I'm really excited for that change. Increase the reward players receive for shading inside or outside correctly in man coverage. So man coverage is going to be better. I think... Honestly, I think the best way to play college football 25 is to use man coverage. I just think it plays the best. And I think if you can shade properly, it's going to be really effective. We're going to have a tutorial on shading on this channel. Adjusted false start stances when you make pre-play adjustments. That was really frustrating. That was really frustrating. So basically, if you were hot routing and you made a hot route after like seven seconds on the play clock, you would get into false start pretty much every single time. So that's bad. <laughs> uh, made an adjustment to the Wildcat unbalanced motion zone play. Hopefully, basically, they just made running worse. They just made running worse. Um, this is a big, big change with the abilities. I was really interested in this. Reduced the effectiveness of multiple laterals. That's good. Adjusted the thresholds required to receive the most effective juke and spin moves. That's cool. Adjusted press animations to be more of an effective count. Okay, that is super important. Okay. 
adjusted press animations to be more of an effective counter to the takeoff ability. So if you guys didn't know, Texas, the, the reason, one of the reasons Texas is the best team in the game, Isaiah Bond has 98 speed and he has takeoff. If you were not pressed in uh, takeoff, like if you were a, a press zone, for example, it wouldn't press him in that takeoff ability. He'd just basically run by people. So the reason this will be really important for, man, again, kind of I think we're shifting into a man coverage meta because adjusted press animations to be more of an effective counter. So when you would press out of man coverage, that seemed to slow it down a little bit. Pressed man coverage, I think, is going to be the move going forward with fast corners that can run with the receivers because, number one, it's going to reduce the – so the, the biggest counter to, like, corner routes is press man. Biggest counter to a lot of things in this game is press man. And they just said that it's going to be more effective against takeoffs. So that's huge. Updated pass protection mechanic to only include the RB in the protection if they are already on a block. I actually really like that. That's a great change. That is a really good change. I like that a lot. Because basically what happens, if you would slide your line any direction, it would remove the running back's stock route that he had. And it was just essentially like you had to run six-man protection. Updated the coloring. Um, I like that too. Updated the coloring. That was a that was actually a really good thing. Um, it's a little thing, but it's a good thing. Rebounds the golden platinum tiers of the juke and spin abilities like 360 and sidestep. So basically, they nerf spins. Uh, from what I've heard, they nerf spins. Rebounds the platinum tier of the extender ability, which includes not firing on quarterback design run plays. I didn't even know it did that. Uh, slightly rebalanced the effectiveness of gold and platinum. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, okay. Okay. Kind of interesting. So they – I've played the patch. Quick jump is still the most game-breaking ability in the game. It's the best ability in the game. You need as many quick jumps as possible. But it does seem like they rebalanced it a little bit, and it's not as bad as it was, but it is still – so so important it really is there are a lot more ways also a little little kind of i guess preview of what's coming in our school community there are a lot more ways to get pressure without quick jump post patch so pretty much the reason i say quick jump is most important ability in the game is because if you had quick jump every defense was better if you had if you did not have quick jump every defense was worse to the point that every defense was unrunnable without quick jump aside from double A gap. Now there's more defensive options, which is really cool and uh, super excited to break down those ebooks for you guys on our school site. That's pretty much it uh, here. This is just dynasty stuff. I'm not super in, in, interested in this. Um, I, I'm really interested in road to college football playoff, but I don't think this is, this is dynasty stuff. I'm not really a dynasty guy. Road to glory, college football ultimate team. Generating, okay, uh, college football ultimate team. Att attributes in the front player items. Fix an issue with orientation. Player profile screen. Nothing big. The biggest thing is they added player friend to cut, which is good. If there's going to ever be tournaments on cut, you got to have player friend. Presentation. Um, not Here we go. This is the thing I really want. <laughs> I'm really frustrated with this, guys. Like, Road to College Football Playoff. I love this. I actually really enjoy College Football 25, and I want to play Road to College Football Playoff like a ton. You can't change your playbook in the mode. And they have a bug. Texas's playbook is bugged and broken. It's not the actual Texas playbook. It's actually Texas A&M, which is my, my favorite team's Texas. We've been in awe of how passionate you all are about College Football 25. Can't wait to see your feedback and gameplay. Thank you all so much for continued support. Tier rebalancing and reconstruction, changing the format from three tiers to five tiers. To me, that's that's, I mean, cool, but it's not a big deal. Like, let people change their playbooks and road to college football playoff. That's all I have to say. Until I see that, I don't think any patch is good. But that being said, aside from that, it's probably the best patch we've ever seen. Aside from the fact that they didn't fix the one issue that I think a lot of people really want, which is to be able to play road to college football playoff because it's the only way to play like regular teams. To be able to play that mode and be able to change your playbooks would be a really, really good thing for the game. If you guys want to check out our ebooks, get better at the game, make sure you're at school, school.com slash Cody Boward. Been really excited about the content we have over there and the membership growth. If you guys want to sign up for that, the link is in the description.